Hi friends, Amber here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day four of my Bambi's Summer Bash series. This is a week-long series in which there is a new video and project every day for seven days in a row, just showcasing some fun ways that you can document your summer memories through mini albums. So if you missed day one through three, I will have those linked down below in the description box so that you can check them out. I hope that you enjoy today's video and I hope that you will join me over the next three days for the last three projects. In today's video, we will be making a mini album using some envelopes and some acetate. So to start, I'm going to make my envelopes. I am making eight and I am just using my We Are Memory Keepers punch board to do so. I am making my envelopes in the smallest size on the punch board. So they measure two inches by three and a half. They are the gift card size. So if you don't have the We Are Memory Keepers punch board, you have those measurements. You can use a cup file or you can use a template online or buy some from the store, but those are the measurements you will need for this specific album. So I am just going to continue on with the process of making eight of these. I am using the Wonders Collection from Paige Evans in case you are curious. I think it's so pretty and the colors are so perfect for summer. So I tried to make sure I used a bunch of fun summery collections for this series since it is all about summer. So I'm still just punching through all of these and I am going to round the corners as well just for a nice clean finished look for all of my envelopes and then it's going to be time to assemble the base. So for the base, I'm using a piece of acetate and just to decorate that acetate up a little bit, I am also using a strip of paper. This is optional. I just wanted to kind of give the acetate a bit more character. So I am going to show you real quick here briefly just the strip of paper on the acetate and then I'm going to go off camera and stitch that strip of paper in place and then I will move on to the scoring and folding and assembly. And here is that strip of paper. It measures one inch by 12 inches and my piece of acetate measures three by 12 inches. So I just stitched that and now I'm going to do some scoring. So my first score mark is going to be at one and a half inches. The next one is at two and three quarters inch. The next is at six and three quarters inch. And the last score mark is at eight inches. You can see that I am really scoring this. Um, acetate is kind of harder to score through. So I went over those lines a few times each. And now it's time to assemble the whole project together. So first I'm going to adhere all of my envelopes together so that they are ready to go. So I'm showing you here how I'm doing two of them. And then it's time to fold up on all of the score lines of our acetate of the base of our album. So I am being very careful when I'm doing this because acetate does kind of have a mind of its own and it likes to fold any which way that it wants to. So that is what the base looks like for now. And now we are going to assemble our envelopes together. Here I'm just trying to decide which pattern I want to kind of peek through the cover of the base. And now I have these strips of paper. These measure two inches by half an inch. And I am going to take two of them and just use them to adhere two envelopes together. So you can see I'm just kind of placing them half an inch apart securing them down and then folding right on them. And now the envelopes are hinged together. So this will allow us to make them into pages. So I'm just going to continue that process for the rest of my six pages. I also stitched on these little hinges just for some extra added te uh, texture. And I thought that looked really cute. I stitched on the envelopes as well. I like to stitch on everything. <laughs> So just continuing this same process here. 
and um, this is how we are going to add our envelopes to the base of our mini album. So these hinges are creating the pages out of our envelopes and then we are going to just slip these envelopes into some elastic and that is going to hold them and bind them to the base of our album. So you'll see that in a minute. I'm going to grab some plain white elastic thread that I bought from Amazon and I'm going to just tie four pieces of it around the spine of my album. So this is the outer left spine of the album. We do have two, a left and a right. It's the outer left. And I'm just going to tie all of them into place and then move them down to that spine, trimming off the excess elastic. And then we can add our pages. So before that though, I'm going to add an eyelet just so I can hook some charms to the spine. This is optional. Another option would be to just add some charms and some beads to the elastic itself. And now that that's done, I'm going to just add the envelopes to the album base by slipping them through the elastic one at a time. And now because of those hinges, they will be held in place and your album is ready to go. So super quick, super easy project to put together. And to hold my album close, I'm going to use some Velcro. You can use a magnet, a paper clip, whatever type of closure you want. I just like Velcro because it's so quick and easy to use and I always have it on hand. So I'm just going to add that to my project and then I will show you a flip through of how I embellished this mini album. So here is my finished mini album. I love how it turned out. I love all the florals. I think it's so pretty and so fun. So I added some paper tassels and some charms, did a big floral cluster on the front and just decorated some of the envelopes inside. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and feel inspired to create an album like this. I will see you tomorrow for day five of this series, which is a very special video. So be sure to tune in for that. And I hope that you guys have a great day. Take care and happy crafting. Bye.